Joining us today is Michael and Megan with the Red Cross. How are you both doing? Very doing well, great. thank you. Good, so Michael, tell me about your role. So as the executive director, I give leadership to the humanitarian services part of our organization, our service to armed forces, disaster services, training services, um, our philanthropy committees to make sure that we have the resources as well as the, the volunteers necessary to implement our humanitarian mission. I also support Meg in our biomedical mission with through the blood side. Yeah, yeah tell me about your role, yeah. Megan. So I'm the account manager for the American Red Cross. Um, so I've been you know, working in this area for 17 years, setting up blood drives, educating people, trying to get them to come out and donate, and really emphasize the need for blood and why it's so important to come out and donate. Tell us about some of your projects. Well, I know, first and foremost, let me ask you this. When it comes to you all receiving blood, what is the blood used for? I know so many people just don't know why oh, it's yeah. needed. Well, stop and think. You know, we, we all see the accidents on 501, so a lot of it is going to these local hospitals for the, the trauma victims. Uh, we have to keep my cancer patients, um, you know, newborn, the infant babies that are sick. I mean, it's used for just a number of um, emergencies, burn victims, if, you know, if, if we did have a local fire. So there are so many wow. uses for it. And again, we can't manufacture it, so we need people to donate. Wow, that's interesting in so many scenarios mm -hmm. that we just don't think mm -hmm. of. So when it comes to a person being able to give blood, what does that look like? So you have to at least be 16 years of age with a parental consent. If you're 17 and older, and weigh 110 pounds, and if you're in, you know, general good health and you feel well that day, you can donate. And a lot of people think that they can't because maybe they're diabetic or on their certain medication. They can donate, and we urge them to call 1-800-RED-CROSS if they think that they can't, but chances are they definitely can. Tell us about the upcoming blood drive. We're so excited. So we have our <laughs> yearly September blood drive, um, and it comes at a perfect time. It's September 8th. And again, we're going to be at the Coastal Grand Mall and Magnolia Mall from 11 to 6. Michael, are you excited? Oh, uh, you know, look, every two seconds somebody needs blood in our country. Mm -hmm. We provide 40% of the nation's blood supply, so it's very important that people come out in September. Love it. Yeah. Thank you both Thank for you. stopping by Living Local. Thank